Well, here's a video I didn't think I'd have to make. However, with just how many people keep asking about them, it looks like we have an opportunity here. And just when you thought, I was bloody done with Crockpot Guide videos. But let us talk every survivor's favorite nom noms, which, yes, is information that can't be found easily within the compendium on the main menu. But still, let us start with a balanced breakfast in bacon and eggs. This is Wilson's favorite food now, and it is a dish that used to give 75 hunger total, but upset to 90 for Wilson players. As we progress through the rest today, you'll notice a pattern of plus 15 hunger for all all favorite foods, all the while the rest of the stats remain the same. But do note that this extra 15 hunger bonus does actually fall with the freshness of the food itself. Also, I kind of want to know your thoughts on this mechanic. Should it only be hunger, or should all the stats get a slight boost? Should favorite foods do something beyond just stat regens? I don't know. Let's discuss. But things are heating up already with Willow's favorite munch, spicy chili. It's a fairly simple recipe of only meat and veg. However, it is also one not often used, I would imagine. A normal bowl provides 20 health and 30 37.5 hunger, but put a bowl in front of Willow and she'll snarf down 52.5 hunger instead. Oh, the dish also raises our temperature by about 40 for a little while and is actually needed to adopt the brood lean from the rock den in case you didn't know. My goodness, man, I always forget that banana pops are also now in Don't Starve Together and not just shipwrecked, and they happen to be the favorite food of our girl Wendy. Nanner Pops are already pretty darn great at 20 health, 12.5 hunger, and 33 sanity. But as Wendy, we can lick up 27.5 hunger instead. Bananas, twigs, and ice. That's all you need. And enjoy the lowering of your temperature temporarily as well. But here's something interesting. Not every favorite food item is a crockpot dish. Wolfgang loves roasted potatoes. No, not just potatoes. They do need to be cooked. But we really should already know how bloody amazing potatoes are in general. However, with Wolfgang, the hunger gained from them jumps from 25 total to 40 overall, rivaling even some crockpot dishes for Pete's sake. 40 hunger from a single farmable crop is just insane, so make use of it. Not to needlessly add to the connection of Woody and myself, especially with how I am now starting to really look as scraggly as he is due to the state of the world, unfortunately. But I too love some honey nuggets, just like our local lumberjack. Honey nuggets are another simple dish to make, especially if you're bee farming, and normally give 20 health, 37.5 hunger, and 5 sanity each munch. But as Woody though, expect 20 health, 52.5 hunger, and 5 sanity each sweet bite. Just lovely. But it's time to surf and turf it up. Surf and Turf is already a legendary Don't Star food at 60 health, 37.5 hunger, and 33 sanity each. But with the old hag Wickerbottom here, we can bump up that hunger to 52.5 overall, which is just incredible. Throw in two meat and two fish in order to whip some up, in case you didn't know, and don't count out eel in the process either. They make adding fish into the recipe way less of a hassle, as sometimes normal fish may just end up making an entirely different fish dish if you aren't careful. If robots were to have a favorite food, I guess it would be butter muffins, considering how our friend WX feels about them anyways. They say that it's the innocence of the butterflies themselves that add to the food's flavor. And I suppose they're right, because the food goes from 37.5 hunger to 52.5 overall. 
along with keeping the same 20 health and 5 sanity restorations. Not bad at all, actually. Butter muffins could be considered a pretty darn superfood in this game, especially for WX now. Alright though, this is just getting out of hand. Appropriately, Wes's favorite food is that of fresh fruit crepes. However, the only way to make them is with a portable crockpot. A crockpot that is exclusive to Warley and Warley alone. Not only that, the dish already boasts 150 hunger regen, and this increases to 165 overall with Wes. But considering how Wes's max hunger is only 113, the original gain plus the bonus are now both completely pointless. But oh well, as long as he enjoys it, that's all that matters. Oh, you'll always need butter, honey, and whatever kind of fruits to make them, by the way. He may not be the king of the constant anymore, but he sure does eat like it. Maxwell loves himself a lobster dinner and he will enjoy 52.5 hunger over the usual 37.5 when munching on it. Do take note of the 60 health and 50 sanity regens as well, just to understand just how good this dish already frickin' was. Toss in a live lobster caught off the coast, a stick of butter, and two twigs for a mighty, mighty meal. Just, you know, don't actually lose your lobsters. However, another true feast would be that of a turkey dinner. Wigfrid's new favorite food, actually. Typically, a turkey dinner provides 20 health, 75 hunger, and 5 sandy, which ain't too shabby, but a Viking needs sustenance. So our warrior girl demands 90 hunger per meal. Just marvelous, and very easy to continuously create if you're gobbler farming for the required drumsticks. Oh, and enjoy the slight increase in temperature for a very short time to boot. You scream, I scream, we all scream for ice cream, but no one screams louder than our spooter boy Weber here. Ice cream is certainly a unique dish with its zero health, 25 hunger, and 50 sanity stat regens, along with the ability to cool us off for a time, but of course, Weber enjoys 15 more hunger at the end of the day. This one and the next one may not be the two favorite foods that will see the most use, however, considering how little they were even used in the first place and kind of their recipes. Oh, you'll always need at least one ice, one dairy product, and a thing of honey to make the cold stuff regardless, which again, is quite limiting at the end of the day. And while Vegetable Stinger certainly doesn't have a super limiting recipe per se, it's just one that no one ever thinks about or even remembers is in the dang game. Myself included. But I mean, all you need is the required tomato or asparagus, another veggie, and a single piece of ice for a slurp that restores 3 health, 25 hunger, and 33 sanity for Pete's sake. And that's not bad at all. Toss Winona in the mix now, however, and you'll enjoy a 40 hunger gain each sip. Very interesting. So perhaps now people will remember and even appreciate Vegetable Stinger. Well, Winona players at least. But to wrap up today, let us finally, hopefully, step away from the dang crockpot for the very last time. Wartox loves himself some pomegranate. Probably because it's red and looks like a dang soul or something, but I don't know. It's nothing spectacular though, even considering how he gets the bonus from both raw and cooked at 12.2 and 13.75 hunger gained from them respectively. However, you should know that the plus 15 bonus is not a thing here, and that's simply due to Wartox not enjoying quote unquote real food over his souls, thus cutting stat gains in half with them. And that makes sense. I'm really glad that they just didn't change a character entirely with just a single teensy tiny fun mechanic for all of them. Our plant loving friend Wormwood is next and he enjoys himself a simple nanner now and then. But not raw nanners, cooked bananas. Cooked banana for Wormwood will still not restore any health for him sadly. However, the hunger gain increases from 12.5 total to 27.5 overall. So 
munch them up. That is, if you can even get your hands on bananas, because you have to be fighting the monkeys down in the ruins to get them anyways. And finally, Wart, the queen of the favorite foods mechanic. And what the heck do I mean by that? Well, when Wart first came out, she technically already loved durians over all the rest and gained a bonus hunger when eating them. So, Wirt and her release could very well be what led us here today. Do note though, that the plus 15 hunger for durians for Wirt is already calculated and built in. So she doesn't actually gain plus 30 hunger overall at the end of the day. But hold up, Beard. What about Warley? The actual chef of the game? Well, if you know anything about Warley, you really should not be asking that question as he is and will always remain both a picky eater but still a food connoisseur. Warly doesn't have a favorite food, so no bonuses for any of you Warly players out there. But there you have it everyone, all the favorite foods of our survivors and how to go about making them. Take advantage of such a small yet far reaching mechanic and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.